Ladies and gentlemen, Trump is claiming that he made Juneteenth famous. I'm afraid you're decades late on that, Trump. You know, I knew about Juneteenth and many people like myself knew about Juneteenth even as far back as when I was a child. Okay, many of the adults around me knew what Juneteenth was as well. So uh, you didn't make it famous for us. I can assure you of that. You must be talking about people like yourself. So this came out on Politico. Trump, I made Juneteenth very famous by moving Tulsa rally. Uh, no, no, you didn't. So ladies and gentlemen, this is June 18th, 2020. President Donald Trump took credit for popularizing Juneteenth, a day commemorating the end of slavery in the United States, citing the backlash over his plans to hold a campaign rally on the holiday mid a national reckoning over racism and police brutality. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, he just moved it a day up. So instead of Friday the 19th, it's going to be on Saturday the 20th in Tulsa. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal published Thursday, the president claimed ignorance to the historical significance of Juneteenth, telling the paper that it was ultimately a black secret service agent who filed, uh, who um, filled him in on the date, the <laughs> significant. I knew he didn't know this naturally. You know, um, Trump, you know, folks like Trump, especially his age, they're not interested in stuff like this. You bring it up, of course, they get all uncomfortable and don't want to hear it. But, you know, we talk about Juneteenth in the community all the time. And, uh, you know, for us, it's no big deal that we know about it and we talk about it. But for somebody like Trump, I can see it being a big deal to him because he gained some knowledge that he didn't have before, very apparent. Trump initial plan to hold a rally on Juneteenth, his first after a three month hiatus due to the coronavirus pandemic triggered intense pushback from critics who noted that the Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the rally would be held has an ugly racial past as the site of one of the worst race massacres in American history. The uproar ultimately prompted Trump to move the rally to a day later out of respect, whatever. But the president told the journal that for all the backlash, I did something good. I made Juneteenth very famous. <laughs> Juneteenth came from 1865. You know, uh, no, you didn't make it famous. You know, actually black people are the ones that made that famous Trump long before now. Trust me on that one. Long before now. Trump suggested that the news coverage of the rally brought much needed attention to the date even though all but two U.S. officially marked the day, also known as Emancipation Day. It's actually an important event, an important time, Trump argued, but nobody ever heard of it. Trump, I was a child when I heard of Judy. <laughs> Boy, this man loves tooting his own horn for real. <laughs> Nobody ever heard of that before me. Um, the slaves who were my forefathers were freed and the descendants knew about Juneteenth just from word of mouth being passed down from one generation to the next. In fact, I remember in elementary school and junior high school talking about Juneteenth. 
Wow. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Attributed to the president and the first lady commemorating Juneteenth for each of the three years he's been in office, a fact that surprised Trump when, according to the journal, he paused Thursday's interview to ask an aide if he ever heard of Juneteenth. Oh, really? We put out a statement. The Trump White House put out a statement. He responded, okay, okay, good. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you sound like you really got it together there, Trump. Though the president's rally has brought renewed attention to the date, weeks of unrest following a series of police killings, which are still going on now, by the way, of unarmed Black men had already begun to fuel a new corporate state and local government push to make Juneteenth a holiday for workers as part of the ensuing racial reckoning taking place in the country. Mm -mm -mm. More than three weeks of protest across the country have spurred momentum in Congress to enact new police reforms and Trump signed an executive order Tuesday, which actually makes zero difference to anyone in the Black community and people that have been killed. It really, what he did does not change the police culture or making anything safer for us in the Black community. It does nothing. So he signed his executive order, um, but despite the past resistance, to acknowledge the existence of systematic racism in the U.S., which Trump says does not exist. An underlying complaint of protesters, Trump conceded to the journal that while I'd like to think there is not systematic racism, unfortunately, there probably is some. No, there's probably a lot. Um very substantially less than it used to be. Really, what are you measuring that on? That it's less than it used to be. Uh, According to who? You're a white man in America. You don't go through any racism. How the hell do you measure whether something is bad or not? And, And you're telling this to me as a black person. Come on now, Trump. What a joke. But y'all, please tell me what you think of Trump tooting his own horn and saying that he made Juneteenth famous, like nobody knew about this except for him. (laughs) Y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.